Hello, welcome to my easy statistics. In this video, I'm going to discuss about how to report one sample t-test results from SPSS in APA style. I'm taking an example of 107 student marks. Consider this 107 students as a group, okay? And we want to compare, is there any significant difference between this group's mean value to the college mean value? Imagine the college is having mean marks is 50. So we want to see whether there is any significant difference between this group mean ma marks to that of college mean marks. So we'll do one sample t-test. Let's do the analysis. Analyze compare mean one sample t test here take the mean values marks as a test variable testing value is 50 click ok now we got test values one sample statistics and one sample test values now we will use this mean value which is a sample mean of 62.54 standard deviation is 7.053 and we already said test value is 50, uh, T value is 18.395, degree of freedom is 106, significant is 0 0.000. If the significant value is less than 0 0.05, then we can conclude that there is a difference between sample mean to that college mean. Okay, and here here significant value is 0 0.000, which is less than 0 0.05. So we can conclude there is a significant difference between college mean values to that of group mean values. Mean difference we are going to get is 12.542. 95% confidence interval, degree uh, lower is 11.19 and upper is 13.89. So we need to write this APS score like this. A one sample t-test was used to compare the test performance of a group of 107 students. M is equal to 62.54. This is a sample mean. Standard deviation is 7.05. Again, the college average of 50. Full stop. The students scored 12.54 points, 95% conference interval within the brackets. 11.19 comma 13.89 close the bracket comma above the college average. This difference was found to be statistically significant. T is equal to 106, that is equal to 18.39. P value is less than 0 0.001 and large D value. What is this D value? Effect size, Cohen's D value, which I have already calculated in my previous video. You can check that one. D is equal to 1.777 and some guidelines. You can see this one. Number one, report the mean to two decimal places only. Report the standard deviation to two decimal places. When significant value is 0 0.000 in SPSS statistics output, it should be reported as P is less than 0 0.001. Fourth point, report the absolute value of D rather than the negative value. In case D value is negative, don't report the negative value, only D value, absolute value only need to be presented. A result section should not include any interpretation of your findings. Write them in the discussion section of your research report. So this is the important things which you need to take care in writing APA style. <music> 